All right, so here are my supplies for my DIY. We have some extra fine gold glitter, um, two ounces, hopefully it's going to be enough. Um, and it was $2.99, this is not focusing at all. That's okay, there we go. Um, and then I have some Mod Podge, which I did not buy. My mom said, oh, I have a ton, so here you go. But it, apparently it costs $4.99. <laughs> and I guess all the supplies are from Hobby Lobby. Um, and then I have these two sponge brushes that my mom also sent with the Mod Podge. Um, and then I have two different glass plates that I got from Hobby Lobby. This one was $1.50 and this was $2.50. I think you can get them cheaper at, like, thrift stores or garage sales and stuff. But I was just there and I bought them. And then I got a candlestick. And, as, yep, it's a wooden candlestick, and that was $2.99 as well. And so what I plan to do is I am going to glitter all of these things. Um, I'm going to cover them in Mod Podge and then cover them in glitter. I also have a box over here so that I can sort of pour the glitter onto them and hopefully not make too terribly much of a mess. Hopefully. Um, wish me luck with that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. Um, I guess I should probably explain the idea behind this. The idea is that I'm going to make sort of a cake stand type thing. So we have this one. I'm going to put this here. And then I'm going to put this on top. And I will need to find some glue to glue that together. But there's that. And so I want to um, have them like that. And then I want to put... Um, jewelry and maybe perfumes on them just so it's sort of a fun little decoration and it's also functional at the same time so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and hopefully show you little bits and pieces as I go okay so here I have the first layer of Mod Pod just on there um, I just gotta just put it on I'm going to sprinkle my glitter on next here's my little box contraption so I'm just gonna start sprinkling that's a lot, but we'll see how it goes. I'll just kind of move it around and whatnot and see how it goes. I'm sure it'll take lots of coats, so I'm not so worried about it being streaky or anything at the moment. So here's what I have so far. It's a nice glitter plate there and there and a glittered candlestick. And I'll probably add a couple more coats. It's a little streaky, but I mean, it's, sticked. it's stuck pretty well and they're all glittery already. And I barely made a dent in my glitter. I did pour a lot of it back in. As you can see, that's pretty clean. I poured a lot of it back into the container. But we'll see how this goes. Hi, everybody. So it is a few days later. Like, I don't even know how many. But um, I have applied, I think, since my last check-in, I have applied um, two coats of Mod Podge just over top of these. Hopefully this you can see all right. Um, so they're pretty smooth to the touch. They're dry. There's that one as you can see and then from the top it looks really nice. Um, I have that one and then I have the second one. And then the candlestick I added, ended up adding another coat of glitter and I just added a layer of Mod Podge over top of it. Um, so that brings a total to, I have three layers of glitter and then um, two layers of just plain Mod Podge on these. And they feel they're not super smooth, but they're definitely not like flaky or like gonna flake off or like glitter off or anything like that, if that makes sense to you. So that's good. Um, next thing is I ended up buying this crazy glue. It says all purpose fine tip pen control drop applicator. And it says um, it would bond wood and glass. Like those are what the things that it will bond. Um, and my dad told me to get like super thick, um, super glue, crazy glue or whatnot. And the one that said super thick did not include glass in its list. So I assumed, I assumed it would work, but I just decided to get this one because it said it would glue glass and I thought that made the most sense. But so next what I'm going to do while I wait for this to dry a little bit, I am going to, I just got a fancy, um, what do you call it? Tape measure. And I'm going to measure these, measure the plates, um, find the center, figure out how, um, like how, what the diameter is for these, um, so I can sort of measure out where it's going to sit and sort of mark out exactly on the plates, hopefully with a pencil, hopefully that'll show up, um, so I don't mess anything up. And so I will check in when I get to gluing and just show you sort of how I mark them and everything. And hopefully I will finish this tonight. I am super excited because I really want to use them and I think it's going to be super cute. 
So this whole measuring thing was kind of a struggle, but I don't know if you can see those pink dots. I kind of ended up with a circle around that middle point. So that's what I'm going to base it on. Um, because it was hard to measure with a tape measure, and you have to find the middle, but you can't guarantee that the tape measure is going all the way across. It was difficult. There's probably a good way to do it, but um, I just did the best I could. And then this one is a little bit even more sort of a mess. But I'm just going to kind of try to center it on there and eyeball it. So, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and just apply some of that glue. And I'll show you how it goes. Okay, so here's the pen. And basically to get it out, you have to like do like that. You kind of like squeeze it out. So I'm just going to do that and sort of cover this general area and go ahead and stick the candlestick on. Alright, so this is how it turned out. I think it looks pretty cute. Um, I'm leaving it set because I'm not like absolutely certain that it's all like stuck on there really well. So I'll leave it set for a little while, probably overnight before I actually put anything on it. But I'm going to put it up here where there's all that stuff up there. Um, that's going to be one of the pieces that I'm going to put up on top of my dresser. So, yeah, I will get that put up there and I'll show you the final product. I think I'm going to put some perfumes and maybe some jewelry and stuff up here. And then just some jewelry and things down around here. Just, I don't know, so it's like functional decoration. So here we have the final product. I'm going to put more stuff up on this dresser, but it was just kind of collecting dust and items. So I cleaned it off so I could show you nice and pretty. But it's really pretty right now because um, it's like just that time of night so the sun's like right in on my window. So there's like glitter on the wall. It looks really cool. Um, but it turned out pretty nicely. It's sticking together pretty well. Um, this is a few days later. I wanted to make sure it was really dry and stuff before I put stuff on it. Even though the stuff's on the bottom. One little issue I had is it seems, maybe I can show you a little bit. <sighs> Um, so I mean, tell kind of right in there, it just kind of looks like it came loose a little bit because the um, Mod Podge stuck to the super glue, but it was like the Mod Podge wasn't sticking, it was sticking more to the super glue than it was sticking to the glass plate. So that was a problem, but I was able to put some Mod Podge like in between, or some super glue between the Mod Podge and the plate. So that looks better, or that like feels better. And the other thing is, is that it keeps sticking to the bottom. The bottom keeps sticking to the any surface I put it on, so a suggestion given to me by my parents was to put some little felt pads, just like little tiny circles, and just stick them up on the bottom, so it won't stick anymore. So that's just kind of what I have going on here. I think it's super cute, and I'm kind of tempted to go out and buy a couple more little plates, maybe even find them at a thrift store or on a, in a garage sale or something and glitter them just to have them like around the apartment, around my room, just to kind of put things on. Because I think it's really pretty and turned out really nice. I don't know. I'm going to try a little bit underneath. It's just all glittery. And it's not, it's, it's a little rough, but not too rough. And like I said, a little sticky. Not sticky to the touch, just I think it's sticky because of the weight and like the suction. But so there is the final product. I'm kind of proud of myself. I think it looks really cute. Um, definitely let me know. Um, let me know if you have any questions about this. Um, and I would be happy to answer them. And if you give it a shot, definitely let me know. You can do it. Um, any color glitter, um, I highly recommend um, Mod Podge. It worked great. And get some very heavy duty super glue and make sure everything's dried really well before you try to do anything with it. Those are my, that's my best advice. Um, you can also just glitter plates, you can also just glitter candlesticks. Um, I just thought it was fun to combine them both and it became a very useful decoration in my room. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.